Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Little Man Reacts, and today I got a request via donation to do J. Cole False Prophets. Never heard of it before. Shout out to Mikel on that donation. I really appreciate it. We're going to jump right into this thing, guys. I'm sure we'll have to do multiple pausing in this because for some reason J. Cole always gets blocked on the channel. But we're going to jump right into this before we do. Like, comment, subscribe down below. You already know. Let's go, guys. Somebody should have told me it would be like this, be like this, be like this. Somebody should have told me it would be like this, yeah. Life is a balance. You lose your grip, you can slip into an abyss. No doubt, you see these niggas tripping. Ego in charge of every move, he's a star. And we can't look away due to the days that he caught our hearts. He's falling apart, but we deny it. Justifying a half ass shit he dropped, we always buy it. When he tell us he a genius, but it's clearer lately. It's been hard for him to look into the mirror lately. There was a time when this nigga was my hero, maybe. That's the reason why his fall from grace is hard to take. Cause I believed him when he said his shit was pure, ain't he? The type of nigga swear he real, but all around us fake. The women, the dick riders, you know the yes men. Nobody with the balls to say something to contest them. So he grows out of control. Until the person that he truly was all along is starting to show. Damn, wonder what happened. Maybe it's my fault for idolizing niggas based off the words they be rapping. When come to find out, these niggas don't even write they shit. Here's some new style bubbling up, then they bite this shit. Damn, that's what I get for lying to my. So the information I got with the song is that it's a diss, it's a shot at Kanye West, um, which I can see that now with the words of what he's saying. Um, uh, I didn't know if he, you know, said that Kanye don't write his stuff. I thought maybe Kanye did, but then I heard a rumor a while back that uh, somebody named Rhymefest wrote some of Kanye's music. Not really for sure. If you know anything about it, let me know down in the comments, but we're going to jump back into it, guys. But well, fuck it, what's more important is he's crying out for help While the world's egging him on, I'm begging him to stop it Playing his old shit, knowing he won't top it False prophets Somebody should have told me it would be like this Be like this, be like this Somebody should have told me You could tell J. Cole has to be heavily influenced by Nas Because it feels like he uses those same kind of beats And kind of structures the songs in the same way um, another thing I want to touch on is um, that's a good uh, example of what he used because a lot of people's favorite artists ain't really who they are that they do the music. They just do the music. It's a persona they put on and they're definitely somebody different. Um, so that's like a really, really big thing. A lot of people need to realize is that your artists ain't always who you think they are. But let's jump back into it. Be like this. Be like this. False practice. Somebody should have told me it would be like this, be like this, be like this. Somebody should have told me it would be like this. Yeah, false. I got a homie, he a rapper, and he wanna win bad. He want the fame, the acclaim, the respect that's been had by all the legends. So every time I see him, he's stressing. Talking about niggas, don't fuck with him. This shit is depressing, and I know he's so bitter, he can't see his own blessings. Goddamn, nigga, you too blind to see you got fans, nigga. In a platform to make a classic rap song to change a nigga's life But you too anxious living life Always worry about the critics who ain't never fucking did it I write what's in my heart, don't give a fuck who fucking with it But in a sense I can relate The need to be great turns into an obsession And keeps a nigga up late Writing words, hoping people observe The dedication that stirs in you constantly But intentions get blurred Do I do it for the love of the music or is there more to me? Do I want these niggas to worship me? False prophets Somebody should have told me it would be like this be like this, be like this Somebody should have told me it would be like this Be like this False prophets Somebody should have told me it would be like this Be like this, be like this Somebody should have told me it would be like this 
Yeah, false prophets. These rappers insecure. They talk about being a man so much, I finally understand that they ain't even sure about who they are and why they do this. Guess I'm included in that category as a nigga who done had the glory. My highest moments come from telling all the saddest stories I've seen in my life. I be fiending the right songs that raise the hair on my arms. My lowest moments came from trying too hard to impress some niggas that couldn't care for more. Therefore, from here on out, my hair grow out. I care nothing about. Oh that's a big thing. He said he, he uh, was overstressing of worrying about what people thought about his music. That's a big thing. Nobody is going to really support your music the way that you think they will because nobody. Um, it's easier to hate on whatever you're doing regardless of um, if it's good or trash. If it's not, you know what I mean? Somebody's going to always hate on you. Nobody wants to see nobody make it. That's the way it is. You just got to put that out and just keep doing what feels right to you. That's a solid message. Let's jump back into this. Opinions. I want to give hope like the fountains you throw pennies in. Hit the star, take your diss, make your wish. This is dedicated to the ones that listen to me on some faithful shit. I'm on some thankful shit. But the real God is in you, not the music you copping. I hear my old shit and know I can top it. False prophets. Somebody should have told me it would be like this. Be like this. Be like this. Somebody should have told me it would be like this. Be like this. False prophets. Somebody should have told me it would be like this. Be like this. Be like this. Somebody should have told me it would be like this. False prophets. All right, guys. Shout out to uh, Mikael on that donation. I really appreciate that, man. I like the message in this. False prophets. Um, definitely a lot of rappers out there that people follow um that ain't really who they say they are um trust me trust me it's a, a big thing um you know a lot of these artists have ghost writers and um and the ghost writers are the least people you expect them to ever be um there's tons of there's tons of them um but if this was a diss at kanye i kind of see what he was saying um, I never really been a big Kanye fan. Uh, Through the Wire to me was like top Kanye, and then and then after that, I just really it really kind of fell off. Um, uh, but I mean that's just my opinion, you know. That's just from me, nobody else's opinion. But I definitely like this song. I definitely would give this a ten out of ten. Had that Nas feel to it. Feels like he's heavily influenced by Nas. By that um, backpacking type, you know, hip hop, um, that style. Um, J. Cole seems pretty dope to me. I really like him. Um, shout out to Mikael again on this. This was pretty solid. 10 out of 10, like I said. Um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video down in the comments. Where are we going next, guys?